Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can generate Slug automatically in Laravel. So first of all, what is Slug? So let me just show you with an example. Here you can see we have the edit button and if I now click on edit, it will take us to this page and here you can see we are able to see the product ID. So a user shouldn't be able to see the product ID or post type. So for it, we can use Slug. So what Slug will do is that Slug will show us a text over here based on it can be title, description or category whatever so slug will hide the id so let me just show you how we can generate slug automatically in laravel so first of all let me just go to the product table and here you can see in the product table we do not have any slug column here so first of all we need to create a slug column in this product table and we are going to generate a unique slug using the product title so for it let's go and create the slug column so let's go to our common from and here in order to create a column in a existing table we need to say here php artisan may clone migration our column name will be slug so we we'll say here add slug underscore column underscore two then we need to mention our table name and our table name here you can see is four values so we need to say here products underscore table so we need to say this PSP addition make migration add slug column to products table so if you now press enter there you can see migration is created so right now let's go back to our code and we'll go to our database then migration inside migration here you can see we have a slug column over here you can see so here we are going to say dollar table this arrow sign we say string we first we again to single quotation we are going to say here slug and let's say we want to show this slug column after the uh, after the quantity so we are going to say here this arrow sign after quantity then let's also make it nullable nullable because we already have a lot of data already existing in the product table so we need to make the slug malleable don't worry everything will be fine so if we just go back to the code again then we need to go to this public function tally then here we need to say dollar table this arrow sign drop column and our column name is slug so let's save this and after this we need to go to our command prompt again and we need to say here php artisan migrate and press enter there you can see migration is successful if we just go back to our program table then refresh there you can see we have a slug column here so there you can see we have the slug column here so right now let's go back to our code and this time we need to go to our app then models then we we'll go to our products.php here and then here first of all at the top we are going to say use C V I D P R O C G C V Probe backslash eloquent eloquent slagable backslash slagable slagable we need to write this after that here in this we need to say use slagable let me just directly select it here then we need to write a function so we are going to say here public function slagable then we'll give to first bracket a close we'll say here array then we'll give to second bracket so after this we are going to say here return then we need to give to third bracket then again here we need to say to single quotation we need to mention the column name which is slug then we'll give a equal is greater than sign then to third bracket like this then inside this start bracket we are going to say source equal to is greater than we will give to single quotation and here we are going to say title and here you can see this title this title is basically this one here you can see title so we are going to generate slug using this title so right now we need to do one more thing that is we mentioned this CB broke eloquent slagable so we need to install this package in our laravel project so for it let's go back to our command prompt then here we are going to say composer require 
CVIEBROCK Pro Inoquent Dash Slagable. Slaga Bully. Then if we just press enter, it will start installing this package in our Laravel project. So this may take like two minutes to install. So right now I'll just fast forward the video. And there you can see our command is done. So right now, uh, okay, here you can see the return. For this return third bracket, we need to give a semicolon here. So let's save this and let's go back to our browser. Let me just refresh here. Okay, let me just go back. Okay, there is an error in the web. Okay, I made a spelling mistake. It will be E L O eloquent. So let me just save it again and let me just refresh. There you can see there is no error. So right now let's go and add a product data. So if I now just click on add product and let's give a title. Let's say here my test product and let me just give a random description. Let's just say this price will be 22, quantity will be 11, category main. Let's just choose a random image from here. Let's say this one, click open. And if we now click on add coda, it's reloading and the data is uploaded. And if we just go to our table and if we just refresh right now, there you can see. For this product, my test product, there is a slug over here, my test product. And right now, if we just go to our Hue product, then go to the last page. There you can see my test product. And if we now click on edit, there you can see it is showing us the ID. So the shop ID, we can use slug right now. But there is one more issue that is there we already have a lot of data over here where the slug is null. So this will create some issue since the slug is null. And since we want to update data or delete data using the slug. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to generate a unique slug for each product. So I'm going to say here show on. Then uh, here I'm going to set copy on. Then let's say mini on. So I'm going to just do it myself and just fast forward the video so there you can see i have just created slug manually so right now let's say we just add one more product with the same name then will the slug be unique the answer is yes because they are in the code we mentioned here array it means if we keep the same title twice then it will at the end of the title it will add on to triple like this let me just show you if i just say here let me just add a product Let's say my test product and let me just copy some random text from online. Let's just copy this text, paste it here, price 33, 22, this time omen and uh, let's choose the font, click open, click add product. There you can see product added successfully and if we go to our new product. Let me go to the last page and here you can see we have the honor product here and my test product is product title but if we just refresh our database table there you can see for this product the slug is different it is my test too and let's say you want to obtain the data or delete the data using the slug stop id you can do it as well let me just show you let's say for edit we are to wait if you click on edit, we want to see the slug here, the stuff ID. So for it, what we need to do is, let me just go to my resource queues. Then we go to my admin folder and our new product is this one. Let me just directly go down. And uh, here you can say update product and we are mentioning the ID guard. So instead of ID, we are going to say here slug. Let's set this and we'll go to our routes then web.php then our function name was update underscore product so let me just search for it update product is this also stop id we're going to say here slug so we go to the admin controller update product function let me go to the app http controller then admin controller update product function so stop id we're going to say here slug 
and instead of find id directly saying it we are going to say here fire to first bracket to single position slug comma this dollar slug then we'll just get the data get and then we are going to set this first since we want to get only one data right since this is an update for a single product so we need to mention first let me just refresh here and if we now click on edit there you can see in the url it is showing us the slug not the id if we just go to the last page if we click on edit there you can see in the url it is showing us the slug so this is how you can generate union slug automatically in laravel if you have any question or suggestion just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe and i will proceed in the future tutorials